why do you guys think audiences still love delving back into that era? Thank you. Um, well, I, I think it's a really, I mean, uh, I think we can see a lot of ourselves now and how things have changed. I mean, if you, if you look at the United States, uh, in terms of the Republic, that was, they kind of, it was based loosely on the Republic of Rome. So I think people can see these echoes and they try to learn from the past. Um, but yeah, I think people love being able to sort of forget about their everyday life and, and go into some strange history and I don't know. Yeah. And, and of course there's, there's similarity, there's sports, we love sports and this show is very much about sport. And so you have, you know, people still, people like UFC, that could be gladiators, um, people like horse racing and, and just people racing. Um, and, that's, <laughs> and that's like the chariots, you know what I mean? It's, just, it's, it's the same thing, you know what I mean? Oh, I don't know if I said anything good there, did I? <laughs> you did, you did. Excellent. Can you talk about the relationship between your two characters? Because they have a very interesting... Oh, they do Especially have... Especially Kala, who seems to be, like, just as manipulative, but... Ah, in the end, maybe. Um, no, and it's just that, probably, Kala, as she's not driven by the pursuit of money, no power, no fame, no nothing, she's kind of the one of the first real person Tenex meets, and then she like see something in him I mean that that's dead his core is to be a good man and so that's um, new to him <laughs> <laughs> she brings out the best in him I think <laughs> it's like that's possible <laughs> so well in the end yes they need each other I mean Kala when she arrives in Rome not knowing anything about that city um, he's the best person to to know because he knows everything from you know from the top to the bottom, I said that before. <laughs> but um, and then because she's skilled, he also needs her to like tidy his place. <laughs> she's very good. She's very good at running a better tavern. You know what a woman does when she arrives in your apartment? She's making everything look yeah, yeah. nice and it's very dark practical. There, yeah, very, yeah. It's a lot nicer now. You mentioned how Tenex did come from there now and it sort of rules it now. And he's making some uneasy alliances, like you mentioned. And um, do you think he's he's just bold, and or is he just not scared of anybody? He's not afraid to take any step. Well, he's yeah, too far. he's ambitious, and he he and he wants to have. He, the thing about Tanax is he looks up at this patrician class, and that they run everything, and they have all the money, they have all the power, and he resents that. Um, but he also kind of wants to be that as well. He wants to have a crack at this power, and and he. And I think he's got the, the skill set to do it. Um, and whichever way he finds, he wants he, he, he wants to be respected, I think, more than anything. And, and um, because of where he's come from, he's come from the streets and he's climbed all the way up. And um, so, yeah, I think for him, it's uh, he, he can he's savvy enough to know what's his best route to the top. And obviously, once you've made that decision, you've got to go through with it or you die. So that's what you see in the show, that he, he makes a deal with the devil in a way. Um, oh, well, do you want to go? No, no, I don't know. Uh, well, I think, I think it was nice, you know, to see how he he still looks back at his past and goes, ah, oh, I'm going to look after these kids and give them the chance that I didn't have, um, even though it's not completely altruistic. He he uses them as a sort of spy network and stuff. But yeah, and, but I think the the relationship with Carla and how that develops was really interesting to me because all of a sudden you see this vulnerable side to him which which surprises him and scares him in equal measures and, and I think um, it makes makes him a better man even though that's dangerous for him because he needs to maintain this sort of hard um, fearless uh, yeah you can't show any weakness or, or he'll get he'll he'll be out you know yeah I'm going to admit that I haven't watched all 10 episodes so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward, you guys have got me more excited. I have watched the pilot, I know the setup. So my question for your character is, the motivation totally makes sense. You gotta get your kids back. I'm totally on board. So I guess because I haven't seen the end of the season, can you tease me about how far your character's willing to go and what kind of schemes that you're willing to make to get your family back? Yeah, tell us about that. <laughs> Well, I learned from the best how to manipulate people, for obviously. Um, I think, wait, what can I say? Yes, yeah, she, she's uh, from day one to 
the end of the season t one, she's... She, that's the thing, like I said, she's, she seems more moral than any other character because what she does is for the sake of yes, uh, the children. But in the end, she's able to do bad things <laughs> yeah. I mean, but for that. the line? I feel like to get your kids back, I don't know. Is exactly, there a line? because when you talk about kids, it's like, yeah. but I don't know if that's so um, moral <laughs> either. But this is ancient Rome, who was at the time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Who is moral anyway? Nobody. Yeah. Nobody. <laughs> if, oh, is this our last question? Oh, no, we're okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So, what was it like? I don't remember you guys being in any of the amphitheater scenes. Are you? No, well, in, you did the in, you did the chariot races. So, what was it like filming those bigger, um, bigger action movies? Well, you just have to imagine it because it's, you know <laughs> <laughs> You're looking through a little slot. Uh, nothing. <laughs> but you oh, react. To and that. someone's throwing dust in your face, and that's a chariot going past. <laughs> that's, that's that's how it, that's how it was. Yeah. Now we obviously know how Kala and Hennig see each other. How do you as actors see each other's characters? Differently? No, probably not. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I think I see Ten X personally as Kala sees him is. Uh, it's not, I mean, I, I think it, it happens, the moment where it shifted for Kala was the moment where they have this scene where together, when he confided to her that he was just this little kid from the streets, you know, having nothing and, and, uh, and scared, and then that he had to, you know, one bit by bit to, uh, be, to become the man he, he became. And that, at some point, that's the moment where you see him with respect a bit, like, yeah, you had to thrive, you know, and obviously you managed because just you were not born rich or anything and just you're super clever and, uh, and strong because you survived so far. Um, so there's a part of attraction repulsion um, because he's doing things that are unforgivable, but yet <laughs> um, he's taking care of kids. <laughs> He's not so bad. <laughs> it can be. It can be. It's a silver lining. You know. Yeah. I think for... I think... Um, well, Tanax slash me does... I think in terms of Kala is something that he's never seen before. Or he's not used to people being so honest with him. Because everybody's, everybody wants something or everybody... Or he has to manage them in a way. Whereas I think um, he doesn't have to manage... Kala, because she can handle her own business, and, he, and, his, and his respect for that, and and the honesty and the vulnerability that that brings out of him slash me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> okay, so we've been told this is our last question. So, if you were a part of the Roman pantheon of gods, what would you be god of, or which god would you be? Which god would I be? Yes. Uh, Jupiter, isn't it? Of course. <laughs> yeah, I might say Dian. Dian. I, I know more when they have Greek names. Uh, uh, Dian Dionys the goddess of the hunt, the goddess of wisdom. Oh, Diana. Diana. Yes. I mean, she's a fighter. Yeah. yeah. She's cool. So, yeah. Jupiter and, and Diana, and, there you go. And, no, no, and yeah. also Justice, isn't she? Yeah. A bit? Justice is actually just. So, oh, it's very one-to-one. One. Because, really yeah, I'm more Greek. Um, my yeah. knowledge of gods are more about They're the Greek same one. Yeah, they're the same <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> different names. Hey, so, like, so, 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 exactly, rebrand. <laughs> <laughs>